I'm Carlos Segre. I'm the director of the Center for Synchrotron Radiation Research and Instrumentation at Illinois Tech. I'm also the operations manager for the Materials Research Collaborative Access Team. The Synchrotron Center, the CSRI, has been building and operating beam lines at the Advanced Photon Source for over 20 years. We currently operate three beam lines. Two are for material science research and one is for biophysics research. Synchrotron is a high energy electron storage ring which is used to produce X-rays. The X-rays have a wavelength that is the typical spacing of distances in, uh, between atoms and structures. They're used to study biological, materials, and chemical systems. Our research group has been using synchrotron radiation to study the structure of battery materials during cycling. In order to prepare a battery to study it in synchrotron, what we have to do is prepare materials in a glove box, seal the pouch cell so the vacuum keeps all the components tightly together, and then we take it out to the to clean up. The advantages of X-ray absorption spectroscopy are that we can study both the crystalline and the non-crystalline part of the material. This is especially useful in battery research because during the process of charging and discharging, the battery materials undergo structural transformations that leave them sometimes amorphous or highly disordered. Here in the experimental station, the X-rays come from the synchrotron through our beam line and expose the battery which is sitting on the sample stage. The signal from the battery during charge and discharge is then measured through transmission in the ion chamber or in a fluorescence detector. At MRCAT, we've developed a continuous scanning technique that allows us to take a full spectrum in under two minutes. This allows us to map the changes in a battery during the charge and discharge process. MRCAT, the Materials Research Collaborative Access Team, is a university, industry, national laboratory partnership which was organized over 20 years ago to build and operate beam lines for studying materials and environmental systems. Collaborative Access Team members have the privilege of using our beam lines without having to submit proposals to the Advanced Photon Source. In addition, we have staff members who can help them design their experiments, build specialized equipment, and help them analyze their data. One of the goals of MRCAT is to bring these advanced characterization techniques to industry. We're always open to bring on new partners and collaborations. <laughs>